Exercise 5, page 36. The long life of my grandfather's car. Let's complete an outline. I'll read the paragraph for you. I own a car that has a special meaning for me because it belonged to my grandfather. When he was a young man, he saved money so he could buy a beautiful car to use on trips around the country. He finally bought a Cadillac convertible. It was white and blue with silver trim. There were white circles on the tires, and it had a powerful horn that made people jump out of his way. The seats were also white, but the dashboard was black. The steering wheel had a brown leather cover. The mats were gray and always clean. My grandfather took very good care of the car, and after he died my uncle gave it to me. I am very happy because it still has the original motor, and the body is intact. If it has problems, I will fix it myself. I plan to take very good care of my grandfather's car because someday I will use it to travel to all the states and cities that my grandfather visited when he was a young man. Complete the information in the outline. Let's start with the topic sentence. What is the item the author describes? He describes my grandfather's car. The author's general feeling about the item is, I own a car that has a special meaning for me. The supporting sentences. The background information about the item is, When he was a young man, he saved money so he could buy a beautiful car to use on trips around the country. Let's look at the next step. The descriptive details about the item are, White and blue with silver trim. White circles on the tires. A powerful horn. White seats. A black dashboard. A brown leather cover on the steering wheel. Gray and clean mats and it still has the original motor and body intact. Details about the author's feelings. If it has problems, I will fix it myself. The concluding sentence, exercise 5, page 36. Let's take a look at the restated idea. I plan to take very good care of my grandfather's car because someday I will use it to travel to all the states and cities that my grandfather visited when he was a young man. By restated idea, we simply mean you are restating the topic sentence in a different way. The information in the outline, we have three areas. Topic sentence, supporting sentences, and concluding sentence. Let's look at the breakdown of each of them. Item the author describes. This is the name of the item. The author's general feeling about the item. This is the general feeling about the item. Under supporting sentences, we have background information about the item, such as where, when, what, and who. We have descriptive details about the item, such as adjectives and the five senses we mentioned earlier. We also have details about the author's feelings, emotions, and adjectives. And under the concluding sentence, we have the restated idea.